Chronic wounds are his specialty. Some of dermatologist Georgi Zbari's patients have wounds that have not healed in years. Like this woman's heel. A stubborn bacterial infection has prevented the wound from closing, despite treatment with antibiotics and topical creams. In stubborn cases like this, the dermatologist uses a device that has been developed here in Munich. Electrical impulses from the six electrodes turn the air into a partially ionized gas, known as a plasma. The stream of charged particles, which feels rather like a stream of warm air, is then directed at the wound. A plasma is like a gaseous state of matter. And with a gas, you can get into much smaller areas than with liquids or ointments, for example. That means you can access many tiny areas where bacteria may be hiding. And another advantage of a plasma treatment is that we are attacking the bacteria from many sides. Isbari takes photographs to document the wound healing process. So far, he's been able to help most of his patients without side effects. The plasma treatments really do enable chronic wounds to heal better. Isbari's study of more than 350 patients seems to confirm that. Industry has expressed interest. A large apparatus like the one used in Munich is expensive, but may be very worthwhile. It could even happen that you stimulate human cells to grow and heal in the area where you're killing the bacteria. The plasma technology was developed at the Max Planck Institute for Extraterrestrial Physics in Gashing. For years, physicists here have been generating plasmas in instruments that are used in research on the International Space Station, the ISS. The experiments in space are not about healing wounds. The physicists are carrying out basic research on the self-organization of tiny electrically charged particles of polymers, or plastics. In the course of this work, they discovered that the plasma has a strongly antiseptic effect on surfaces. Since then, a separate research group at the Institute has been testing new plasma devices. They expose a bacterial culture to the plasma and then leave it in an incubator overnight. The result the following morning is striking. The plasma has completely destroyed the carpet of bacteria. Only a few colonies at the very edge of the treated zone have survived. This device could be sold on the market for only 100 euros. We plan to test this device in clinical studies to treat acne and several other skin diseases like fungal infections or herpes, for example. The application would be very simple. You put it on the skin, ignite the plasma, and then wait for a while until everything on the skin or in the wound has been killed off. The researchers are going even further. With the help of a mesh of electrodes, they're developing devices that will disinfect everything held in front of them, hands, food, or surgical instruments. In the dark, you can see the plasma with the naked eye. The oxygen in the air emits ultraviolet light when it's electrically charged. That adds to the antiseptic effect. This device generates a cold plasma, that means a partially ionized gas. So you could just hold your hand here and the gas diffuses everywhere, even under your fingernails or in tiny cracks in your skin, to kill the bacteria or fungi or viruses that are there. The doctors at Schwabing Hospital are excited about the devices. In clinics all over the world, physicians are increasingly contending with multi-drug-resistant pathogens. They can be transmitted by touching door handles or shaking hands. In Germany alone, thousands of patients die every year of infections involving multi-drug-resistant germs. Even the basic clinical practice of hand-washing and disinfection doesn't help enough. For years, we've been observing a growing incidence of antibiotic-resistant microbes, including multidrug-resistant microbes. So, in the medical field, we welcome any method that can help to prevent the transmission of these pathogens. Plasma 
plasma medicine is still in its infancy, but the researchers in Munich are convinced that the new technology will live up to its promise.